So I've been shooting with the Lumix S52X for the last month, and I want to tell you in under five minutes everything I think about this camera and whether or not I'm going to keep it. What's up? My name's Chris Tejas. I'm a photographer and videographer based in Ontario, Canada. I mainly shoot portraits, events, weddings, stuff like that. I've had this camera for the last month and I have had the busiest month of my entire career. So I've actually gotten to use it a ton. And I have some thoughts about this camera that I want to share with you. I'm going to keep this really quick. I'm not going to do the whole tech bro thing of showing you all the slow motion footage of the camera. I'm going to overlay a bunch of footage that I've shot and photos that I've shot with this camera. And I'm going to give you the kind of greatest hits in a really quick list. And I'm going to hit everything as fast as I can because I don't want to waste your time. And I've got a lot of shit to do today. No, no camera's perfect, but this camera's almost perfect for me and for what I do. I think this is a great camera. My use case for a camera like this would be hybrid shooting, doing lots of photography, doing lots of video work and needing something that can accomplish both really seamlessly. And this camera does that very, very well. So let's run down the list. Autofocus, 80%. It's not perfect, but it's very, very good. Lumix has come a really long way. Like considering this is their first batch of cameras to have this style of face detect autofocus, it's very, very, very good. The latest update on it has made it even better and I'm, I'm very happy with it. It still hunts around sometimes, it still misses shots, it's not perfect, but it's way better than Lumix used to be and I think with more time with this camera, I will get more and more comfortable with the different ways that I would set it. But essentially using it just in its base setting and, and the most simple form of autofocus, it's been very reliable. I would say it's 80%. Ergonomics and handling, this camera's awesome. It feels really, really good in the hand. Not too big, not too small. The grip is awesome. The button layout is really good. I'm a really big fan. I think this is a comfortable camera to use. I just used it for four days straight on a documentary shoot down in the States where I had it in my hands for like 80% of the day. And it was very good. I was very comfortable with it. And I feel like you would be very happy with the ergonomics of this camera. I won't go over the finer details, but overall it's comfortable. Menu system and user experience, uh, 70% maybe. I'm not super happy with the menu system. I find it like kind of convoluted. There's so much in it, which is good and bad, but overall I just think it's like, it's a little bit complicated to use and I think it could be more simplified. To me, Canon is the gold standard for like simple accessible menu systems. So this is certainly not that. The other thing about user experience is that the camera's just kind of slow. Like you turn it on, it takes a couple seconds to turn on. You go to image preview, it takes a second. You hit play, it takes a second. Like everything about this camera is just kind of slow. Like if that doesn't matter to you, that doesn't matter. For me, I would say that that's actually literally the biggest con for me about this camera is that it's slow. I find there's situations where I just want to turn it on and snap a photo and the lag time is frustrating. I could see in situations where that would frustrate me. And because of that, like I can't do that thing where you toggle your camera on and off to save battery because it just, it just takes too long sometimes and you'll miss a shot. And it's not the end of the world, but for events and stuff like that, it kind of can be. Image quality uh, for photo and for video, I would say we're at like 90 to 95% of what I want. It takes really nice videos. It makes very, very nice quality images. I would say overall though, like everything is just like a little contrasty and a little sharp for me, uh, but that's just for my style. If you like super crisp, sharp images, like super crisp, this is it for you. I find that I'm continually having to like dial back on the contrast a bit because it just feels a bit contrasty. That could be to do with the two lenses that I've been using with it, which is the Sigma 24 to 70 and the, the Lumix 50 1.8. But overall, it's, it's beautiful. The different photo styles are fun to use. Uh, Vlog is great and really easy to work with. It just has so much latitude and, and you're going to be really happy grading this footage. I don't love grading footage in general, so I'm not the best person to ask. But yeah, image quality, um, 95%. Ecosystem. So, I mean, I don't know, 75%. There's not a ton of lenses for L-mount, um, but they do have really good quality lenses. So I would say like maybe quantity low, quality high. So yeah, 75%. Finally, cost. This is like a tough one because the cost of the camera, amazing. This camera for what it can do is like crazy cheap, but the lenses and all the other stuff is expensive. So what you're making up for in the camera body, you're paying later on in lenses. So just keep that in mind. So am I gonna keep it? Uh, I think, I think I am. I haven't decided 100% yet. I have to make up my mind real soon, but I like this camera. I like what it allows me to do. It's not my favorite camera in the world, I think if I was just shooting photos, I would not get this camera. If I was just shooting videos, I would absolutely get this camera. If I was doing a hybrid, that's where I'm trying to decide. Like, I think I will keep it because I think overall it's the best bang for buck and I really like all the footage coming out of it and I like using it. So am I gonna keep it? I don't know, 
90% yes, 10% no. What do you think? Is that a good review? Is that fast and effective? Are you going to buy this camera? Does that give you enough to think about? I'm so tired of these like tedious reviews that are 20 minutes long and ultimately end with them saying nothing. So like that's this just straight dope about this camera. And I hope that helps. Thanks so much. Peace.